So yesterday I watched Arden Cho's How I Got Into Acting video. And it was really interesting to get an insider's point of view. Um, because before, I used to think that either actors and actresses, either you had it or you didn't. Like, you just magically moved to LA and you became an actor. Well, not really, but like, I would hear stories of how some actors and actresses would be discovered, like they're just eating at McDonald's or walking down the street and then some agent just sees them and discovers them and suddenly they're actors. Um, so Arden Cho made me realize that acting is like any other profession. You need to learn, take classes and learn, and like you train to become an actor, it just doesn't happen. And most actors don't share this information with people. Um, which is so, this is why I think it's really important for uh, individuals to share stories so that we understand each other better. And now I understand what it takes to be an actress. If acting was presented as more as an academic subject you could study and move up and build into a career, I think Asian parents would be more accepting of that if they know that here are steps you could take to make it in the acting industry. Because I didn't know that before. With all that being said, I wanted to share my failed path into acting. Because um, I think this is an interesting story. So in sixth grade, uh, for our English class, we had to write, get together in groups and write a skit. And while performing the skit, one of my classmates noticed how uh, made this comment of how, wow, I've never heard Chan Hong speak that loudly in my life before. Because I was the quiet kid, I didn't really, I would like volunteer to answer teachers' questions, but like, I never like talked outside of that. So when I heard that comment, I was like, wow, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Acting is my passion. So then in seventh grade and like middle school, I wanted to become an actress. So then I got into high school and then I took ninth grade drama, I took drama in ninth grade and I did this like monologue and our class did like a presentation performance that was open to the public. I mean, not everyone came, not a lot of people came, but like then my acting career kind of just stopped there because my high school had school plays, but they were always musicals. So I was afraid to try out for them. I never tried out for them because I can't sing at all. So I just didn't try. Then when I got into college, I did VSA, the Vietnamese Student Association. Each year we put on a show, a cultural show, and then the cultural show usually revolves around a skit. And I always auditioned for like the main role of these skits, but I never got it. Like I would do really well in the first audition when it was just like a small group of people and it was like in a small room. But when I, I literally find out, found out that when I did it in front of a larger group in like a larger room, I would make my voice louder so that everyone could hear me. And when I made my voice louder, I stopped acting. Like it was just me screaming and I wasn't really, and nations is that the word, but I stopped acting and I, I didn't know that until like my last year of college when I had given up my dream of being a star in the VSA skit. And then I also, in college, I also tried multiple times to get to be, in, to enroll in acting one, but like UVA never let me enroll because you needed special permission. And like, even though I emailed the professors went to one class like they never let me in because like I had other classes I needed to take I couldn't like take it so because of that I've been jaded and like gave up on acting besides this whole YouTube thing of course but I don't really do a lot of skits and when I do it's kind of awkward you can see that I'm, it's clearly awkward or I'm, you can see that I'm clearly not a good actor but I just want to tell you guys, I did consider acting at one point in my life. Oh, also Arden also mentioned how she flew, uh, she bought a one-way plane ticket to LA. See, I was thinking of doing that. Not buy a ticket, I was thinking like, I'm gonna drive to LA, I'm gonna do it. And then I chickened out and I couldn't do it because my parents 
like I mentioned in another video, we're like, stop dreaming. So here we are today. So I think I'm gonna try to get involved in a, my acting dream has evolved into a stand-up comedian dream. So I think I want to get involved in some comedy groups here. And then, so I'm really taking into heart what Arden said about learning your craft, honing your skills, and training. So I want to do that. And then after I graduate grad school and start working full time, like I want to hopefully find some acting classes that I can take. And that's how I didn't get into acting. Thanks for watching. Bye. Also, I haven't completely given up on my acting dream because after watching Insecure, my dream life goal right now is to have a TV show revolving around two Asian female characters. And I can't do that without learning about script writing, directing, producing, and acting, of course.